Hi ladies, all right, so I've been doing some meal prep since I got home today and I'm tired. So um, I'll show you what I did. And again, I went against my own rule, which is do not do a whole bunch in one day. My legs are tired, my feet are tired. Um, <clears throat> so, so far all I've done are four dinners, five breakfasts, a bunch of lunches, and these little cups. And I feel like I should have so much more to show for my work. All right, so I ran out of the little um, cups. And in here, again, it's just about a third to a half a scoop of collagen, um, beetroot powder, the duo greens powder, the um, dandelion root powder, a little baobab, and a tiny bit of sweetener just because we're adding all of this to something like yogurt, or I'll show you what I'm going to add mine to this week. Um, and it just gives that extra boost without going, um, I don't know. So I made 10 of these, I think, no, maybe it's 12. And I keep reusing them. If they break, they go in the trash. They're super cheap. They're really little, like super little. They probably hold a couple tablespoons. I'm not sure this would hold a quarter of a cup. But anyway, so what I did for my breakfast this week and I wish my husband would eat this with me, but he's a bit pickier than I am, although this is good and I like it, so there's that. So I took, and I times five Pearl's Slimming Porridge. I really, what I had planned on making was her PPP, but when I pulled out my quick cooking oats, I think they were like little weevils or something, and it was only in that. I don't understand why, but in that one container, I had to throw the whole thing out. So plan B happened to have the ingredients for the slimming porridge. So in here, what I did, I'll show you this, five, three, four, five. Okay, so this one, I can't tell what's what right now because this is berries. I thought I had a bag of the wild blueberries that was at least halfway full. I did not. So I've got two cherry and three with the wild blueberries and a little bit of the mixed berry because I ran out. I just went to Costco and that's so frustrating because Costco, it's just a, a trip in and of itself. But luckily I had enough of the berries to make it work. I think technically my cherry one is, do you need something to big? Um, I moved it. Over there. Um, anyway, my husband has a smoker and he's attempting for the first time to smoke some meat and anyway. Back to my story, which I have no idea what it was. Oh, okay, so S helper cherries. I think the cherries might make it more of an S helper than quite an S, but that's okay, it's not a big deal. So I meant to add some of these ingredients to this after I finished cooking it. I believe on one of the videos with Serene and Pearl, they talk about if you add, I think it's spirulina, to um, while you're cooking, it kind of negates some of the health benefits. So I was gonna wait till I was done, whisk everything in. I was busy, distracted, totally forgot. So I will be adding this. It's, I wanted to go for a super cute layered look and it is, but then when I add that, it's just gonna mix in, so whatever. I plan on taking this to the gym with me since I'm there and I shower and everything. And I probably look like a freak, but I go ahead and eat while I'm there getting ready because technically you're supposed to eat, like I think it's either within 30 minutes or an hour of working out. So I wanna make sure I get my fuel in because I'm there forever, it feels like. Anyway, so I've got five of these. Two, three are definitely the S. I might have two that are a bit more of an S helper. And instead of Pearl's maple extract, I add almond, especially when I found out I was gonna have cherries. That's what I went with. Lunch this week for me is going to be a breeze. I'm so happy. If you ever made something and you were like, man, what haven't I made this in forever? That was me today. I made my pressure cooker lentil soup and it made this big really like this is pretty big I don't know how many cups if I could read these things better probably I could tell you and then and then this much as well and it's very thick I don't know if you can see but it's more of um stew ish maybe is the right word so I uh, I didn't have fresh spinach of course I didn't so in my freezer when I go to Walmart I do try to grab a couple of bags of the dollar veggies that are in the frozen section just in case. And so today when this was done cooking, it takes 
It takes longer than 18 minutes. If you have a pressure cooker, you know it takes a little bit of time to get up to the right pressure. So I'm going to say it took probably at least 30 minutes total for the whole thing. And then when it was done, I opened it and I just dumped in that bag of frozen spinach. It was already chopped. This tastes so good. I don't know why I don't make this more. And because it doesn't have a lot of protein in it, instead of trying to add chicken or something, I just added collagen to it. So I've already got my protein in it ready for my week. All right, my dinner. So when I finish this video, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do a little bit, Alexa, cancel. Um, I'm gonna do a, another video I've had someone ask for a bit more specific on my dinners. So I'll finish this with my regular stuff and I'll just come back and explain a little bit more in detail about my dinners. All right, so I have all these. What I love about doing these, it takes time, I'm not gonna lie. Doing all your little measures and all the little things, but I've got two weeks worth prepped. Um, and so I still have, from a couple weeks ago, I still have some of my granola bars prepped. So I'm hoping tomorrow to get a couple more things prepped. I just hate doing so much in one day because I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm human, I'm tired, my feet hurt. All right, so let's see what we have in this box. I wanted to make this last week and I did not and I'm so excited. All right, so, my feet hurt. All right, so you're gonna see probably in almost every box all my meat I found in the clearance section and they're not bad. They were, they were not even that close to date when I got them. So I paid, Man, it hurts. Uh, 2 20 I think, for this andouille sausage. So what I'm going to make is another take on a Cajun um, pasta skillet. Now, um, for pasta, you have a lot of options. I was going to use the cauliflower pasta because I thought it was more of a, um, a, a carb, less carby pasta, but it was still pretty heavy, so I'm just going to stick with the dream fields for now. Um, but use whatever you like, whatever your family likes. My family is picky. They do not like spaghetti squash. They do not like the zucchini or the other zoodles. They don't like any of that. Um, and to save my sanity on some days, we all just use a box of Dreamfields. And I have a son who said, I don't like your pasta. Well, he's been eating it and has not had a clue. So there's that. All right, so in here, I've got, oh, and I'm doing a red and purple challenge. So I've got my reds here. I've got some reds in other dinners. So I think I'm going to do great on my red purple challenge. Um, so I've got two peppers. You can use as many as you want. I don't like bell peppers, so we're two's the max I'm feeling comfortable with. And my onion, and this poor onion looks bad, but we know what's on the inside is what matters, so. I've got my mozzarella, my Parmesan cheese. I've got salt, pepper, and Cajun seasoning, and um, you can just use a tiny bit of Cajun if your family's sensitive. I have some sensitive people, but I only add it, I think, like a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half. And typically, when I use anything that calls for cream cheese, I often just use the reduced fat just to, I'm not really counting calories in the fat, but I don't wanna go crazy and just eat cream and heavy cream and cream cheese all day. <clears throat> I've got a cup of heavy cream in here, and then my garlic, and that's probably a lot of garlic, and if you're like Pearl, you'd be like, that's nasty, but we like garlic. And I feel like it's good for me, so there's that. All right, I really am excited about this dinner. I cannot wait to eat it. And, okay, this is going to be, basically what I'm gonna do with this recipe is I'm going to take my Spanish cauliflower rice that my family, for the most part, will eat every now and then. They can kind of tell some things off, but for the most part, they eat it. So this one, I think I can fool them really easily. Um, so when I do my cauliflower rice, I add extra water, extra broth, and just cook it and cook it and cook it until it's so soft and there's no, um, there's no cauliflower texture, nothing. It's all gone. It's, it does take time. It probably takes about 15 minutes, but it's worth it to make a good dinner that my family will eat. So I'm going to make that. In here, I pull all this meat I pulled from the freezer today. Like I said, typically I don't do all this in one day. Um... So I've got my chicken that's still frozen. I found three of these little guys in here, and I like these just because they're not habanero peppers at all. They're just a tiny bell peppers. So add a little bit of bell pepper to it. Um, and I'm gonna take my chicken breast, and I'm gonna add um, those in the crock pot for a few hours, let them cook, make my cauliflower rice, or Spanish cauliflower rice, and then I'm going to shred up the chicken, Mix in, um, I've got some onion to saute. I think it's red or purple, whatever color you call that. 
to get in the red and purples. And then I went ahead and added to the tote, which you don't have to, some of the toppings, cilantro, I've got tomatoes, I've got the avocado, but it's so hard, so I'm just letting it sit out. I've got black olives and um, part of a block of uh, cheddar cheese. So the only thing that's not in here are the seasonings for the Spanish cauliflower rice, which ideally I would have done, I'm not gonna lie, but at least I am somewhat prepared and prepped for the week with that dinner. And I think it's gonna be really good too. And I don't know if I'm gonna add a little um, light laughing cow cheese or cream cheese to it just to creamify it. My family seems to like that a little bit better, but it's just one of those, we'll just see how it works. Okay, Ugh. oh, this is heavy. Oh, I forgot this is so heavy. All right, um, okay, so this is one I already have on my blog. This is, um, I was just gonna do the skillet recipe, but I found that I have a crock pot sirloin bite um, recipe on the blog, but I think I just said those exact words. Okay, so this recipe actually is even more convenient than I'm making it. It called for seasoning blend. The last time I went to my Walmart, they had none. They didn't have the small bag, the big bag, nothing. So I'm gonna have to go through the work of cutting an onion. So I've got, again, it's got the, the markdown on it. I've got sirloin steak. I've got all my seasonings in here and my garlic. My beef broth, my butter, my onions, and this time I'm going to add mushrooms because they're in my fridge. I haven't used them. They're going to go bad, so I'm just going to throw them in there. I do have a son who does not care for mushrooms, but he can just pick them out because I'm not going to make them tiny. I'm not going to hide them. They're just going to be part of the dish. This is so easy. It is, you cut up if you follow this recipe as written, it's so fast, it's so easy, but because I don't have the seasoning blend, I'm gonna have to cut up my, my onion, and since I'm adding the mushrooms, I'm gonna have to cut up the mushrooms. But typically, it's just throw everything in and go, which is my favorite, honestly. All right, final one, and this one is so heavy. If that lid doesn't even fix, I've got it too full. Let's see if I can do this. Ah, okay. I have, I think, two regular chili recipes on my blog, and I've been trying to incorporate a few more emails just because we need those carbs. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an e-chili. So these are not necessary to put in here. I just put them in here for convenience sake. All right, so I've got my hamburger meat. It's not exactly as lean as we need it, so what I'm going to do is rinse it after I cook it. I won't add the seasonings to it until I've rinsed it. And it's a little over two pounds, and again, it's got the yellow sticker. Um, I've got an onion, where's my, jal oh, my and one jalapeno. If you don't like heat, you just take out the seeds and the white membranes, and you're good to go. And then here I've got my garlic and all my seasonings, chili powder, I've even got my cocoa powder, I've got some stevia, I've got everything in here for the seasoning, which I will add once I um, drain the meat and then I've got the um, like basically it's Rotel just generic and I've got three cans of beans and I will rinse the beans throw everything into my crock pot and just let it cook I've got kidney beans if you don't if you only like one kind of bean only use one kind of bean that's it's just whatever you want I'm just doing a variety so I've got red kidney pinto and red beans and then um, I'll just rinse all of those, put everything into my crock pot. I will probably use my foodie, which again, I am not a spokesperson for, but I love, love, love my foodie because I can brown everything in it and I just use the one pot instead of having to do multiple pots. So this just makes it easier. I feel like I should have so much more to show for all my work and this barely, I'm gonna have to squeeze it to make it fit. Um, that's all I have made. Four dinners, five breakfasts, all the little uh, yogurt smoothie additions and then a big pot of soup. That's all I have to show. But at least it's something and my week is ready and I'm not getting up at three o'clock in the morning. I don't have to go anywhere tomorrow, so that's great. Um, and so I will do a quick video next just kind of explaining more about these boxes since I've had some questions and I don't want to add it to this video because it's already probably way too long. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great weekend.